Chairman, Excellencies, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, allow me to join others in congratulating uh, our Chairman on his recent appointment as a Minister of External Affairs of the Republic of India. And I would also like to take the opportunity to thank the Indian Government for their unsurpassed hospitality. And I think we should also salute the leadership of India to make the Indian Ocean a true space for peace and development. For us to be able to truly mobilize the potential of our oceans and mobilize the blue economy, no state can work alone, for the ocean is about shared resources. Seychelles and Mauritius have earlier this year become the first two countries to jointly agree and submit a proposal to the United Nations on the co-management of the extended continental shelf that connects our countries. While we could have spent years going back and forth with respective claims, the simple solution we agreed means that the peoples of our two countries can benefit much sooner. We are sharing benefits and we are sharing responsibility. And we believe this is one of the core tenets of IWARC. IWARC offers us the ideal platform to share our experiences and best practices across this shared space. In this 15th year of existence, the need to enhance this connectivity is stronger than ever. Seychelles currently chairs the Indian Ocean Commission and we believe there is a lot of scope for partnership between the IOC and IOARC and we believe that this is an ideal time to further institutionalize this partnership perhaps through establishment of mutual observer status as well as an MOU on potential areas of mutual intervention. I take this opportunity to welcome our neighbors of, of Comoros whose accession will further strengthen our efforts to promote connectivity. Mr. Chairman, we also express our solidarity with Madagascar and we urge all partners to support as much as possible the preparations for the elections next year. Mr. Chairman, thanks to the determined and coordinated efforts of many nations here today, there has been a substantial decrease in piracy attacks in the Indian Ocean. In fact, for the first quarter of this year, there have been 56% less successful attacks than during the same period last year. But we cannot afford any form of complacency because all nations represented here today still have too many sons and brothers being held hostage. And because every time our fishermen are at sea, we still worry that they may not come home. We are all paying too much because of piracy. Even as the number of attacks goes down, we still pay unaffordable insurance premiums. It simply costs us too much to trade freely with each other because of piracy. I would like to inform that Seychelles is in the process of establishing a regional anti-piracy intelligence center to better target the financiers of piracy. We believe that we can build on this initiative with the cooperation of IOARC to ensure that we can truly implement justice in our region and put an end to impunity. Mr. Chairman, a safer ocean means that fisheries and tourism, which are undeniably linked to the security of our ocean, can flourish within the region. A, sus a sustainable fisheries industry means that we must plan our fisheries based on a view of the whole Indian Ocean and not just the part which we happen to control. There is a lot of scope to facilitate the sharing of best practices along these lines within our organizations as well as empowering coastal states to improve their access to their own fisheries resources. And we welcome the contribution made by Oman that has just been announced. As an island nation, the ocean is also our highway. The vast majority of our imports come by sea. In this era of escalating commodity pr uh, prices, we strongly support the enhancement of regionally based shipping networks. By facilitating mar maritime trade routes, we will create new opportunities for growth and exchanges in our region. Mr. Chairman, we believe that Iowa can also be a catalyst for connecting SMEs of our region. As a small country, our experience has shown us that investment is not and should not be the preserve of multinationals. In IOARC, we can produce the right environment to facilitate SMEs to invest in each other across borders, even on a small scale, and multiply possibilities for value addition. Mr. Chairman, the principles of the blue economy imply that we are able to accelerate economic growth while preserving our environment for future generations. I certainly am convinced that through IOARC, we have the right advocate for the blue economy in our region and beyond. Thank you very much.